How do? And welcome. We're kicking off today, which is the 1st of January 2022. It's the first time I've been out for over a month. The last time I filmed was with good friend James Bell over on Formby. At this point in time, that hasn't been edited because Christmas has been a shocker for me. I'm not going to get into it. I'll mention C and I'm not going to tell you the other 19 words associated with C. But it's been a rough ride. Thank goodness, apart from a, a little bit of breathlessness, we're back out today, the 1st of Jan. 2022. Can you believe it? 2022. Where's those years gone? Well, I'm hoping to grab them back. I had some corkers last year, really proud of some of the images I got. But when you look back, I didn't bag a lot. I didn't bag a lot of keepers. I bagged a lot of photography and really enjoyed the course of it and getting out. And today's a warm up, today's like to kickstart the year. So I hope you enjoy it and come along with me. What a view. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit weird. We've got breaks in cloud, quite fast moving, and there's some serious weather coming in. Who knows what's gonna happen. But come on, let's go. Just come down off the top there. Beautiful views of Rydal and Grasmere. I've never ventured around this area. I seem to be getting very attached to this side of the Lake District because it's all new. Let's give you a little wipe. I've just come down off the tops. I've not got high at all because I'm, I'm out of it again. Um, but I'm hoping to get back to match fitness anyway. I've come down off the tops with a beautiful view, as you saw at the intro, of Rydal Water and Grasmere. And we're getting just bursts of light. It's very changeable. Touch wood so far. The mood has uh, been a dry one, shall we say. Dry, dry one, been a dry one. Look at this birch. How can I walk past it? I've put it in the cleft of the valley. Just walking down the other way, there was a load of hikers who, who didn't fancy the sheep path. I thought, come on, let's get, let's get these legs going. So down I came and this showed itself. We've got parts of Luff rig in the background and, and then the, this, this kind of hump and uh, uh, crags, if you like, taking you in like a dart to the foot of the birch. Quite like the cinematic feel of this, this chap on his own. We've got these kind of plumes of, of green um, bursting up. Uh, they look like, uh, they look like rhododendron. Now, they can't be. I'm not ornithologist. <laughs> I'm not ornith. I'm not. I'm not a plant man. I know. I know my trees to a degree. I, I, I'm learning. My granddad will be turning now. Be like that, throwing bottles of nip bone at me. I, I'm really going off. You're probably thinking, what is he on about? But you always do. So stick with me. We've got these rhododendron that are growing out. That's what I reckon, yeah. And, and oh, look at this now, bit of, oh. I think I need to go and get the shot in mood because I've got a feeling we could get a touch of light as well. But I, I, I like the bandy now. The clouds are so important and I don't always get it right, but the clouds are as important in the composition as everything else. And the way they're banding now is just beautiful. So let's just, we'll leave you on, let's step forward. But hopefully this isn't a swamp. I think it is. Oh yeah, it's swampy. Right, 24 mil. Let's get some of this foreground in, the swamp. I saw 400. Why? Because I want to keep my speed up. I've been playing too much with slow shot speeds handheld and uh, it's not worked out on a few shots. <laughs> Silly me. Why did I do that? It's not because of inexperience or a lack of knowledge. It's just rushing, panicking, seeing the shot, trying to get it and then going, ah, one, one fifteenth of a second. And, and to be fair to myself, my hands are, they're not that shaky. 
So I'll go with real of thirds on it, but I, this is a shot to nothing, really, because all I want is the, the change in mood and these hills. But it's a bonny, it's a bonny birch, that, and it's a nice shape. It is, it's a lovely shape. Let's see if I can balance it out with these, these green patches without going down into the bog. Need a bit more separation. Too much. That'll do me. I like the water and the colour of this dead bracken. I think the water needs to play a part. Oh yeah. Can we get a reflection? We can. We can, we can get a reflection. Oh, this is a bit boggy. Oh, much better composition. But we're losing the cleft of the volley, but I'll put them all up and see what you think. Some serious boggage. This pool of water and these flourishing green, beautiful, almost oriental leaves. And we're getting a reflection, the tips of, of the birch in the water, which adds to the composition very much so. Now I'm going to come in a bit here, tighten it up. I just need to get that little bit more separation without going nuts deep. Pardon my French, ladies and gentlemen. Let's have a look. I quite like that. Can I step one forward? Oh, we've got a ripple on the water now. All right, let's wait for that ripple to go. Beautiful moody clouds. Beautiful moody clouds indeed. Let's try that. It stopped rippling. It's a very, very messy, boggy foreground, but I quite, I quite like, I quite like the balance, of the tree, and the foreground and the mountains. Let's really go wide here, 24, and push it up into the sky and get more bogging, less cloud. Beautiful scene. Right, before I go right down in it, I think that's it. Handheld. Handheld. Bit of a study shot. Beautiful tree. One to come back to for certain. If you're a content creator, video producer, or you're just looking for music and SFX for your next project, use the link in the description and my offer code MALLY10 to get yourself a 10% discount. Thank you to Audio for supporting my channel. I've had a few battles walking around here and there's quite a few people posted four of the favourite images. The, the list's endless of a wonderful high quality photographers who I follow. And if you're not careful, you could fall into a, a comparison trap. Um, I mean, comparing myself, I'm not happy with the batch of images I got last year. Although overall I feel my photography has improved. I just, I always want more. <laughs> That's no bad thing, I guess. But just to get back to what, what's happening here today, he's strengthening my creative muscle for the year ahead. We're going to head down now to the, the banks of Grasmere and just chill and just, just enjoy photography, what it is. 
capturing something that grabs you, that inspires you, that you think, oh, I've got to have an image and how can I make that image look wonderful, aesthetically pleasing or, or how can I show people what I see and how much I love being in the outdoors and how nature is so beautiful and to capture that in a way that is my personality and is unique and emotional and special for, to me, the photographer. That's a bit of a monologue. Come on. I'm walking back down to grass me and <laughs> always have your peepers on, always be looking. It's like a reverse infinite loop, dumbbell rays and this wall. And if you can see where my camera is there on, on the wall, I've been on tippy toes because I don't want to climb on dry stone wall. Ladies and gentlemen, don't climb on dry stone wall. And I'm on my tippy toes because there's a tree, a huge, beautiful, gnarly oak tree on the other side of this wall as, as foreground. Then this infinite loop with dumbbell rays and helm crag and, oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. No light, loads of mood. There's, there's some layering taking place at the back, but not, not a lot of light at all today. Uh, I'm not bothered, I'm dry, I'm happy. I want to start to 2022. But do you know what? And I'm kind of rounding up because I've not a clue what I'm going to start doing when I get down there. So I'm kind of rounding up the day so far. I've took about six shots and I think I've got about three keepers. For me, that's very unusual, very unusual. So maybe this is like a metamorphosis of Mali, a change. It'd be easier for me, instead of editing 15, 20 images that I absolutely love, to just narrow it down to maybe six. It would help me a lot, probably get more videos out. But can you see the loops? Can you see the band, the join there? coming down, dumbbell rays and just this, this wall taking you up. I hope this shot works because to me, it's so pleasing to look at right now. So I'm gonna pop a few more off because we've got more cloud crashing in and then we'll carry on. And who knows if I talk to you again. Cool, if I don't, so there. <laughs>